I'm back to further roast Jordan's pathetic video about his Mexico rental nightmare. Jordan has been deleting comments that are making fun of his rental situation in Mexico, but I was sent a couple screenshots of comments that I thought are worth talking about. Comment number one, why didn't you want May to sign as a guarantor? Now Jordan makes some silly excuse about being hit by a bus and not wanting to leave May destitute. But it's glaringly obvious that he wants no part of any type of financial tie to May. He won't even put her on the lease, not even a guarantor, but he wants to marry this girl. This is not usually how committed married couples work. Truth is, May is really financially irresponsible. That's why she was living with her parents for so long. She likes to spend, spend, spend. Second comment, which is my favorite. Why in the world two people need 5,500 square feet is beyond me. The fact that missing even one month's rent is a hardship should have been a red flag. Jordan's response is hilarious. It's not that it's needed, but some of the features of this house were really useful considering our needs. Such as, number one, it has two detached buildings, one for May's physical therapy practice. Number two, it has a spacious kitchen for May's to film her cooking videos. It has a big yard for the dogs. It has room for my office and a room for my recording studio. Does Jordan have a big head or what? He must be so delusional and far up his own butt that he thinks that he's so special that he needs two rooms in order to produce the high quality content that had less than 10,000 views in his latest two videos. He's hilarious. This comment sums it up perfectly. The conspicuous consumption of two unmarried kids renting five times the house they need isn't going to inspire much sympathy and is financially reckless if you're saving to start a family. Ask, is your relationship based on this excessive temporal lifestyle? Filling out that paperwork makes your account hard to swallow. Take the L, learn to be more self-aware. And for those who still need more evidence on how stupid Jordan is, check this out. You should have never signed the form. You messed up. You will lose in court. Good luck. And this is Jordan's response. And why he's going to continue to get quote unquote scammed. The only thing I signed was that I could get my deposit back. Our lawyer said we will win if we have to go to court. Okay, Jordan, you're going to believe the word of your lawyer that you're absolutely going to win. Like, are you serious? I mean, even in the U.S., there's tons of scam lawyers that say they're going to win just to get clients and to bill hours. The stupidity is just really off the charts. And the same goes for his cult audience. Sure, they want to be in my comment section saying that I don't have a life, but they actually went on Google and wrote reviews about this company, which is absolutely silly because they don't have any direct experience with this company who's actually been open since 2017. Moral of the story, realtors in Mexico don't rent to this couple. They are shady, they're scammers, and if they don't like you, they're going to secretly record you and post that stuff on YouTube.